In this video, let's take a look at JSON server's support for put, patch, and delete requests. In the previous video, we had a look at post request. The URL was slash products to add a new product to db.json. A put, patch, or delete request though, will always contain the ID of the item. Let's start with a put request. For this example, let's update the category of product 11 to furniture. For that, we first change request type to put. Then we append the product ID to the URL. So slash 11. In the JSON body, we update category to furniture. When we send the request, you can see the status is 200 OK and we get back the updated product. Category is furniture. If we check db.json, the data is updated. What you should know is the put request needs the entire product object even when modifying a single property. If you want to modify just one property without worrying about the other properties in the object, you can make use of patch requests. Let's say we need to update the price from 4000 to 8000. We can change request type to patch and in the JSON body, we can specify only price and set it to 8000. When we send the request, we get back the updated product object with all the fields. The price is now 8000. So depending on your app and how simple it is to update a product, you can either perform put or patch requests and JSON server will handle it for you. The last request type is delete for which you can change the dropdown to delete and leave the URL as is and remove the body as it is not needed. Send the request and we get back an empty object. Take a look at db.json and the product with ID equal to 11 has been removed. As you can see, when prototyping a front-end app, you can perform all the CRUD operations by making use of JSON server. You don't have to rely on a complex backend.